हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम ऑन माय यूट्यूब चैनल माइक्रोबायोलॉजी बाय संतोष नपते फ्रेंड्स इफ यू आर नॉट सब्सक्राइब दिस माइक्रोबायोलॉजी बाय संतोष नपते काइंडली सब्सक्राइब दिस चैनल सो दैट यू विल गेट नोटिफिकेशंस ऑफ अपकमिंग वीडियोस टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट हियर यूनिट थ्री ऑफ पेपर नंबर फोर दैट इज माइक्रोबेल फिजियोलॉजी and the name of this unit is that is it is related to microbial growth and the actual name in syllabus it is reproduction and growth of bacteria so in this topic we are going to study about the how these bacteria they grow or how they reproduces or how they divide so that we are going to see in this topic then later on we will see about the different phases of the growth curve and then we will see how the measurement of microorganisms or bacteria can be done so one by one we are going to see all these points in this today's lecture so let's start with the point so this is the you know, all of you know that all living organisms they can grow and reproduce and when microorganisms they are provided with the different types of nutrient nutrients or necessary nutrients and when the require environmental factors or conditions then these microorganisms they become metabolically very active and they can grow and multiply so generally the growth it refers to increase in a microbial size or microbial pop number or both so that is actually a growth of microorganisms here so it is growth of microorganisms it is nothing but the increasing the size of microorganisms or it is nothing but the increase in the population of that microorganisms or growth refers to both that is increasing microbial size and increasing population number and this growth it is also due to the when that cells simply become longer and larger so that also refers to the growth and it involves an increase in the number of cells rather than in the size of the individual cells so when we are considering the growth of microorganisms then we are not considering the size of individual cells instead of that we are considering the increase in the number of cells so that is called as growth and this change in population in bacteria it is due to the one special asexual mode of reproduction that is called as binary fission so this is the introductory part of this growth now the next point we will see here that is the levels of growth so that next we will see here levels of growth so a cell it synthesizes the new components and it increases its size this is one important thing and another one is here that is increasing number of cells in the population so when there is a growth we are considering there is a increasing the number of cells in the bacterial population and at the same time there is a increasing cellular components that result in so this increasing cellular components and this synthesis of new components which increases its size that results in the increase in cell number for example when microorganisms they reproduce by budding or binary fission so the population or the cell number will increase and at the same time there is an increase in cell size for example when some microorganisms they have nuclear divisions that are not accompanied by cell divisions so that can also leads to the increase in cell size and generally the size of microorganisms it is very small as you know and therefore microbiologist they usually study the population growth rather than growth of individual cells so instead of studying the growth of individual cells microorganisms they study the population of microorganisms so large number of micro st to study the growth of microorganisms large number of microbial cells are considered here instead of considering the individual cells of microorganisms so the important points which to which is to be remembered is in this topic we are going to study one is bacterial division or reproduction 
then second we will study here that is stages of bacterial growth then we will see measurement of micro microbial growth and finally we are going to study about the environmental factors which affect the growth of microorganisms so one by one we are going to see here the first one is the bacterial division or reproduction so this bacteria they normally reproduces by a asexual mode of reproduction and that is called as binary fission so it is the binary fission so what is this binary fission so binary fission it is the process of bacterial reproduction where one bacteria becomes two so this is called as binary fission which is a asexual mode of reproduction and with the help of which that bacteria they divides or they reproduces and in this binary fission that bacteria reproduces in which that one bacterial cell becomes or it get divided into two so these are the examples which divides by this binary fission one is bacteria then another one is paramecium and next one is here amoeba so all these creatures or living organisms they divide with the help of this binary fission so this is the diagram of binary fission so i will explain this diagram this diagram shows the how that bacteria divides or how the single cell of bacterium it divides into two so this is the diagram of binary fission and it is a type of asexual reproduction as i told earlier here this is the type of asexual reproduction and in this binary fission a parent cell it splits or breaks into two individual identical cells which are called as daughter cells and these daughter cells they have identical genetic material that is dna as like that of their parent cells see this is the parent cell here this is called as the parent cell and this parent cell in a first step so in this when this bacteria divides by a binary fission then the dna is copied and each copy it moves to a opposite sides of the cell see here this is the dna molecule here or genetic material we can say so that dna is copied and each copy it is now transfer or moves to the opposite sides of the cell so one is moving here at this side and another one is moving at this side here so this is the second step here or first step we can say later on there is a barrier forms in the center of the cells so here there is a barrier is formed see this is the barrier forms at the center of this bacterial cell so later on that separation of the two cells begins so later on the both of these cells they begins to separate here and finally there is a both cells they get separated from each other now here there is a two daughter daughter cells are formed so these two independent identical cells form so this is the simple method of binary fission so that is called as binary fission and it is the asexual mode of reproduction with the help of which that bacteria can divide see this is the again uh, diagram of how this bacterial cell divides and that is with the help of binary fission i will explain this diagram again here so this is the young cell at early phase of the cycle so this is the young cell or we can say it is a parent cell see these are the for your understanding here so this color it indicate the cell wall of bacteria here then this one it is the plasma membrane or cell membrane then this is the chromosome 1 then this is chromosome 2 and these dotted structures present in the cytoplasm cytoplasm these are called as ribosomes so here this is the parent cell here and this parent cell it prepares for the division by enlarging its cell wall so here there is a enlarging of that cell wall takes place here and this parent cell it is preparing itself for the binary fission or for the division and this cell membrane and overall volume of the cell increases and midway in the cell the wall develops notches so here that wall develops notches and that will eventually form the transfer septum so there is a forming of this transfer septum here this here also or here also see here there is a transfer septum is formed or here also there is a transfer septum is formed and the duplicated chromosomes becomes affixed to a special membrane site so they get affixed to the membrane site here 
then this this septum wall it grows inward see here this septum wall it is growing inward from this side also and from this side also and the chromosomes are pulled toward the opposite ends as the membrane enlarges so as the membrane enlarges of this bacterial cell so these chromosomes they are pulling to the opposite sides of this bacterial cell so at the both ends that chromosomes get more and other cytoplasmic components they are distributed randomly to the two developing cells so whatever these other cytoplasmic substances are here or components are here they are distributing in the both parts of the cells here now this septum it is synthesized completely now there is a see here there is a complete synthesis of septum takes place and that is through the center of the cell and that cell membrane patches itself so that there are two separate cell membranes are formed now there is a two separate cell membranes are formed here and finally that daughter cells are divided or formed so here this is the one daughter cell so this from this side, side that two cells they get completely separated then there is a formation of two daughter cells so in this way there is a formation of new cells or daughter cells from the parent cell with the help of this binary fission so the next point is here that is the generation time or doubling time so what is meant by generation time or what is meant by doubling time that we will see here so the generation time is the time required for a cell to divide or its population to double it is called as generation time for example if a particular bacterial cell is requiring 20 minutes to double its population for example initially at zero time the number of bacterial cell is 2 and after 20 minutes for example if that population becomes 4 that means the generation time of that bacteria is 20 minutes so it is the time required for a cell to divide or it is a time required for a bacterial cell to double its population so that time is called as generation time and as you seen in the picture that cells cell division produ produces two cells and that two cells division produces four cells and so on for example this is the parent cell here see this is the cell wall then this is cell membrane and it is the elongated nuclear or genetic material so this that cell it is dividing by a binary fission so at the end of this binary fission that cell forms two daughter cells here so daughter cells they get separated so whatever the time is required from this stage to this stage that is called as generation time or it is known as doubling time because in this time or in this duration that population is becoming double so that's why it is called as doubling time so the next point is bacterial generation or doubling time so we can take the examples of different bacteria uh, which and their generation time for example for example this escherichia escherichia coli bacteria and other medically important bacteria the generation time of this bacteria it is 20 minutes so it is 20 minutes then generation time of staphylococcus aureus it is 27 to 30 minutes then generation time of bacillus subtilis it is 25 to 27 minutes generation time of mycobacterium tuberculosis which is a causative agent of tb it is 18 hours then mycobacterium leprae which is a causative agent of leprosy it is 14 days and the generation time of treponema pallidum the the generation time is 1980 minutes so this is the generation time of the bacteria okay so in this way this is the generation time of bacteria here so the next point is here see the e coli generation time so optimal conditions that is after 20 generations 7 hours 1 million cells will be formed here and after 30 generations of e coli that is after 10 hours 1 billion cells will be formed that is of e coli or escherichia coli where the generation time is 20 minutes when all conditions are favorable that is in case of optimal conditions so the next slide is that is examples of asexual reproduction in animals so hydra budding this is an animal and it which reproduces by the asexual mode of reproduction then some sponges planaria and starfish they reproduces with the help of asexual reproduction 
so this was about the basic concept of the microbial growth and we have seen about the that binary fission and how that bacteria divides with the help of this binary fission and then we have seen about the generation time and dub or doubling time and we have seen some examples of the bacteria and their generation time so in next lecture we will see about the stages in the bacterial growth curve that we will study about the growth curve of bacteria in next lecture so if you are not subscribed this microbiology by santosh napte so kindly subscribe this channel thank you